Good morning, everyone. My name is Stan Martin, COO of ABOR and Unlock MLS, and I'm here to help you navigate the upcoming changes to the MLS rules and business practices required by the NAR settlement. This is a significant shift in our industry, and it's essential to understand what these changes mean and how we can smoothly transition together. So let's dive in. Here's what we'll cover today. Important dates to remember, specific MLS field and rule changes, what compliance looks like, and how we're supporting you. Before we cover all that, we wanna remind you that everyone has a role in this transition. Brokers, update your business practices and train your agents. For agents, stay aligned with your broker's changes and prepare your clients. Team leads, ensure your team understands and implements these changes. And for us, Unlock MLS, we're here to provide you with all the necessary resources and support. Now, let's go over the important dates. Back on May 30th, we launched a suite of new forms, resources, and events to help you navigate this transition confidently. Coming up, mark your calendars for July 11th, when we'll release the final versions of our MLS rules and updated terms of use. And on August 13th, the new rules will officially take effect. To support you, we've launched the Right Here, Right Now campaign. This includes new forms, toolkits, and client resources available at the Right Here, Right Now Information Hub. We also offer weekly training sessions, classes, and events to keep you informed and prepared. So, what's changing? Here are the key modifications to your MLS system that will go into place on August 13th. Removal of compensation associated fields from the MLS listing data. The following fields will be removed from all input forms, search forms, displays, and MLS tools. Those fields are sub-agency compensation, buyer and leasing agent compensation, bonus to buyer agents or leasing agent amount, dual variable compensation, buyer incentive, and for residential lease, invoice submission, and commission paid. In addition to the removal of these fields, Unlock MLS is introducing a new seller contributions field. This field will be found on the input form for each property type. It's a dollar value field where you can enter any amount, including zero. The purpose of this field is for your seller to signal how much they're willing to contribute to a potential transaction. This is not a required field, so it is important that you discuss with your seller if and when they want to use this field. The contribution amount may not be limited to or conditioned on the retention of or payment to any other brokerage. Additionally, there are no changes to closing related fields like buyer closing costs paid by seller. However, it's important to note that there should be no buyer broker compensation entered as part of the number that's submitted into this field when closing out your listing. As these system updates go into effect, Unlock MLS will also implement updates to its compliance program to ensure you and your peers are remaining in compliance for these NAR mandated updates. Here's what you need to know. Unlock MLS compliance will be built around monitoring the prohibition of compensation in the MLS, disclosure of compensation during a transaction, the correct use of written agreements, and how data feeds can be used. All of these new rules and compliance procedures will apply to all property types and fall into Category 4 of the Unlock MLS Compliance Program. Prohibited Compensation in MLS As mentioned a moment ago, the MLS must eliminate and prohibit offers of compensation in its system, both directly and indirectly. This means that in addition to the removal of the mandated fields, Listing brokers are also prohibited from using any part of the MLS system, including the remarks and documents to offer compensation from listing brokers or sellers to buyer brokers or other buyer representatives. Compensation disclosures. Brokers are required to provide compensation disclosures to prospective sellers and buyers. 
written agreements before touring homes. All buyer-tenant representatives must have a written agreement in place before touring a home with a client. This written agreement needs to outline how much the client will pay their agent for their services when doing business together. This rule does not apply to conducting an open house event, nor does it apply to listing agents showing their seller's property to an unrepresented buyer. Use of data feeds. For those brokers that have a data feed with Unlock MLS, the data feed cannot be used to feed listings to a website that hosts commissions and compensations between different brokerages. For more information about what violations and escalations look like in Category 4, visit abor.com forward slash right now. Remember, you're not alone in this transition. Unlock MLS is here to support you every step of the way. These changes will ultimately enhance the value you provide as an agent, and together, we'll come out stronger. Thank you for joining us today. Stay focused, stay positive, and let's navigate this transition together. For more information and resources, visit abor.com forward slash right now. Onward together.